Hello everybody and welcome to part 8 of Donkey Kong Country Returns. This video is brought to you by MuchGames.ca and Machinima. So actually, I want to show off an object that can buy a cranky shop here before we begin. Hurry up and buy something. Well, first of all, let's buy 7 uh, lives. Just because I want to. Air. <laughs> I care if they don't float away with all those balloons. Anyway, let's buy squawks. And let's leave. I will show you guys what Squawks does here in a bit, so let's see what it uh what it does. Um So what you what you wanna do is you wanna go to your menu. Wait, no not your menu. Uh what is it? What what button is it? Um uh, menu it's gotta be menu. Uh, level summary options. I don't know. I gotta find it here for a second. Oh wait, inventory, duh. Let's activate squawks. And let's go back. Play! So on to 3-5 of the runes world, itty bitty biters. Oh man, I... There's a level in the game which is similar to this one, like by the way it's titled, but... It's a lot harder. And now, uh, okay, squawks, oh, there's, okay, yeah, he tells you whenever there's a barrel, and then he'll tell you whenever there's a puzzle piece around. So be on the lookout for your squawk and squawks next door. See, he'll go crazy in here. Yeah, the funny thing is, is, yeah, we obviously know that there's, you know, something to be found in here. And holy cow nuggets. I almost fell off the ledge again. Okay, good thing the balloon just doesn't, like, randomly, like, just, uh, fly away or anything like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Almost out of time. Woo! That was way too close for comfort. Way too close. But, success, ugh, successful mini game. Uh, bonus level. Okay, Squawks. Oh, looks like a symbol of some little creature. Seems pretty interesting. Looks like we gotta hold down this and. Wait a minute, something's on my screen. Get off here, buddy. Thank you. Stupid spam. Loves to get in my way of my recordings. Yeah. A barrel filled with some little dudes hiding all over the place. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh my god, little itty bitty biters. Yeah, this is what the level's named after. They're not very tough creatures to defeat though, so don't worry about that. Uh, there are some concepts in the level where we're gonna have to use them. But on the most part, they're really easy to avoid, really easy to defeat. Oh, I want that coin. After I spent quite a few. Now here's the concept, you wanna pound him like this, and then you wanna pound him in, and then you wanna, you know, go like, ah, not like that, you wanna actually hang on to the, uh, uh fine like that, jeez louise. Okay, now there is a puzzle piece around here somewhere, so I'm not sure if, uh, where is it exactly, I don't think it's around around here with him. Might be, wait, wait, is it this candle by chance? Nope, but it is around this area. Now I want to avoid these little guys here, not take any damage. Because taking damage from these little buffoons here could be ridiculously dumb. And, oh, it's right there, and it's only seven. That's not bad. This level is actually pretty generous though when it comes to, you know, health and stuff. It's not actually one of the harder levels of the area, and oh, there's another, oh, obviously it's in the barrel. I was gonna say another puzzle piece, and oh, looks like we actually have to use this little guy. It looks like we gotta, you know, position him just right. And launch. That was pretty darn simple. Now that the audio burps are good, uh, the thing is, I just gotta reset my computer every now and then, which, for some reason, I didn't do for like, a, over a couple weeks. And that caused my videos to go all funky. I don't remember these ones being easier than that other one, but... Apparently it is. Oh my god, I screwed that up. Yeah, here I say it's too easy. Oh well, we all know where that is, so I'll have to come back and get it. Whatever. Oh yeah, oh, looks like there's the O, oh, and where's the first checkpoint? There's like no checkpoints in this level at all. There we go, the O is ours. We have achieved ovary. Ovary. Eek. Does 
not the that's not what I meant to say, and I think I know what the next puzzle piece is. Look under there. Oh Diddy, why did I have to lose you? It's all my fault too. But Jackpoint might mean Diddy Barrel. So that should be four puzzle pieces. But you know, me and my stupidity of freaking falling off the ledge in an easy bonus caused me my own demise. Or, you know, just caused me to not get my puzzle piece like I should have. Oh, these guys, the little bridgy ones. Okay, you know what? I wonder if I can attack them from behind. Oh, God. That's not fair. You see me from here? Oh, great. There, you gotta wait for him to do that, otherwise you can't get by him. Now let's blow in this candle, obviously there's nothing in there. Just hoping for some health though, and oh great, these guys. Run! Oh! First death in the episode, that's not too bad. Wait a minute, does that mean... Uh, I don't know if it works, but I want to go check it out. Okay, the O is already achieved. That's funny how it shows up as like a phantom O. Whoa! Enemies galore glee. Whoa, red one in my way. Wait a minute, I think we can actually go back up here. Awesome! So if you die, you get to go back to the bonuses. Well, at least the death gave us a second chance to get the missing puzzle piece. Because we all know that this is the missing puzzle piece of the level. This is probably the only one I was going to miss anyway. Because I don't remember the puzzle pieces here being that hard, even without having squawks. They're pretty easy. Now, don't pull a me again and do the exact same thing you did the first time. Nope, we have achieved puzzle piece. Great. Now we have to travel all the way back. I guess we could just die, but I really don't feel like dying. Oh, great, I have to use you. And of course I took damage on him, too. I guess it doesn't matter if I die, though, because I'll just end up right here. Okay, now, as long as I don't take a stupid hit from the, these things again, I should be safe. Oh, of course. You have to wait till the right moment. It's when they open up their yaps, and then you gotta do it like that. Okay, I want your health. Give me my health. Run! Now I wonder how what, how much stuff you can get off these guys. Okay, just coins. Oh, hey, you. Thank you. Now I'm not scared because I can take an extra hit because I gained my health back. Okay, there's a puzzle piece around here somewhere. Squawks is telling us that, so... Oh, I'm assuming it's above us. Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely above us. Oh, wait, no, it's right there, duh. Okay, so for this, you want to blow, and you want to blow. Wait, you want to blow. And run. And then just use them like that. And now I think I can, you know, die. Oh, of course I take a dumb hit from that. Of, of course I would. Oh, wait, there's still a puzzle piece over there. I know it. Now. Now, what? Ah, there we go. One more puzzle piece to be found in this entire level. I don't I don't remember this level taking this long before, but whatever. Just one more puzzle piece left to find. Oh, itty bitty butters galore. Die, die, buffoons. Yeah, I like how just the doo -doo. You get all of them. Oh great. I think I missed a puzzle piece somehow. Now it's the itty bitty biter fight. Itty bitty biter fight. Oh no, I lost Ditster to a freaking itty bitty biter. And here I said this level is generous with health, and oh great, it landed right on him. Okay, where does this lead me to? Into the ground? That's safe. Oh great. I meant to hit one of them at least. Oh great. They're, they're like trapping me in this corner here. Yeah, you got a one-up from that. Nothing here. Fire! Oh, the puzzle piece! A mushroom. I bet you the puzzle piece is right here. Awesome, now we can leave the level. 
It must be right here. Wait, I gotta pull on this? Now we get the pound on it. And there's the exit. Let's get some lives. Bananas. Got one up out of that. Not too darn shabby. Finally, we don't actually have to go back to a level and try and 100% it again. It's been a while since we were able to do that. Ooh, and anyway, that brings us to 3-6, Temple Topple. I actually think this is a short level, if I'm not mistaken. This level might be, I mean, this episode might be a little bit longer, uh, now that the mic is fixed and stuff. And Oh yeah, the Rambi level. I love Rambi, and there's a puzzle piece there. Should have brought Squawks along for the ride here. But, you know, can't always bring them. Oh wow, there's a... Oh, I thought there was another puzzle piece. Never mind. Oh wait, it was. So, two out of five are within the first little bit of the level. The only thing is, is we gotta find Rambino. The greatest rhino ever. Randy the Rhino, like Tachu 222 said in one of my uh, videos. Sweet, the letter K was hidden down in some spikes. Uh, I remember watching uh, Newfie Bongi here a couple uh, weeks back now, and yeah, he always double checked everything in this level, like the spikes and everything, because you can never be too sure on these levels. But these are fun levels with Rambi, they're just not very common. And uh, Skype messages while recording, yeah, more Rambi if I need them. Yeah, so, you know, the concept is destroy things with Rambi, the awesomest rhino ever. Boom. Remember, there are sometimes where you actually have to dismount from Rambi later on. And in doing so, you can get stuff. Because, you know, things he destroys aren't always a good thing in bananas. Oh yeah, these parts, you gotta run off of. Oh my god, I fell, I'm falling to my doom. Wait a minute, is that a spot I can pound? Oh, it is too. I wonder if it's a bonus. Mm. Yay, it's a bonus! So, puzzle piece number three, and oh, it's one of these ones with the flying banana men. I wonder how many bananas flying banana men give you. I can't tell. Are they like ten? I don't think they're ten. I think they're a little. I think they're like five, but they fly. And that is another puzzle piece. Really easy one to get. Not gonna lie on that one. Extremely easy. Let me just blast out the other side. And look, it's like we got Rambi, because Rambi is actually mandatory for this level. But Rambi will take damage from fire, so be careful. Ugh, goodbye, little dude. I wonder what this is. The fourth puzzle piece, really? But I think there's a really hard part to this level. Or that might be a later on, uh, later level, but... Still, I remember this level being harder in a part. Can't remember which part it is, though. Don't tell me that's a puzzle book. Okay, I'm like, that better not be the puzzle piece again. Nothing for that one. What's this? A, a single banana. Anything down here? Eh, it just looks out of the ordinary. Ooh, Bananarama Samus. Aw, oh, a bunch of bananas. I don't need a bunch of bananas. I need a puzzle piece. And the G, that's all I need. Not more bananas. Eh, yeah, coins are good though. Checkpoint. Oh yeah, this part. This is the part where you actually gotta run. Because the entire place decides to topple. Is that the puzzle piece? I don't remember the puzzle piece being hard to find, but... I could be mistaken. Oh wait a minute, I think I know exactly where it is. Ah, uh, from watching previous videos. So, let's go with my assumption is right. And Oh god, I forgot you can't really glide that far with the... Please be the puzzle piece. Yeah, I knew it wasn't too hard to get. Now let's do that. Ah, oh, more bananas. Got life out of that, though. Sweet, so that was an easy 100%. Now we get to leave the ruins. Well, now we're on to the boss. Which, but then we also unlock the Kaizo stage. Which is Shifty Smashers. Which this one isn't the worst out of all the uh, three dash, I mean the dash K levels, like the Kaizo levels. But it can be pretty annoying if you're not careful. So, let's do this. Five puzzle pieces, usually blatantly obvious where they are. 
and retro Donkey Kong pictures everywhere. The idea is to not get crushed by Donkey Kong stuff, but that's kind of obvious. Now watching people do or record this one, they always seem to take things way too slow. Personally, I don't find this level that hard where you have to take everything extremely slow, but that's up to you on what you find hard. So anyways, let's go in here. Now I'll have to wait for that one to come back down. Go down here, roll over here, we're safe right here. Generally, ro having Diddy here is the best idea because, you know, he's safe and- Wow, that's an easy to get puzzle piece. You barely take any damage there. And remember, these levels have no checkpoints, which makes them hard. I thought mirror mode was originally like that, but apparently mirror mode isn't. There actually are checkpoints. I watched the Noofy Bongas LP of this game, and you're safe. So anyways, gotta get down here and be safe with this. I believe there's only two, so we're probably more than halfway done the level. But this is where it can get pretty annoying. It's because you gotta deal with this. But good thing is, is you can duck and you'll be safe. But sometimes there's enemies which... Oh, great. Whoa! I almost didn't make that. Okay, good. We made it through. Which is... Oh! I wonder if there's a puzzle piece in this one. Oh, I was hoping so. I think I missed the puzzle piece back there. I really do. But I'll never know unless I, uh, you know... Holy cow, I'm dead. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah, I forgot. At least you only take one damage. That was my fault. That, that, that was just my fault. That was awful. Whoa. Okay, no, I don't think I missed the puzzle piece. Oh, wait. No, okay, no, there, there it is. Oh, yeah, this part actually closes in on you. I lost Diddy, but we made it through. And here's the orb. Yeah. That was almost flawless. And we got all the puzzle pieces, which is what matters. Well, actually, what matters is getting the orb to, you know, beat the game. But I didn't get that so awesome. So now that just leaves the boss, which we will do in this video, because it's Ruined Roost. And if I'm not mistaken, this is actually a pretty fun boss. So 3-B, Ruined Roost. Whew. Exciting episode today, and without the audio problems, I think this game will be fun. Now let's roll into an enemy, or boss I should say. Oh, a birdie gong. Oh, it's an egg with little gong boy. Whoa, that's one ugly freaking birdie. Now, looks like we got some uh, bombs here that we get to, you know, throw at a birdie. Birdiezilla takes some damage. Grr, stupid Donkey Kong, I shall destroy you with my birdiness. Birdiness, go. Birdie bomb. Well, that was a failed birdie bomb. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful too, because he also drops bombs that are more ready to explode than others. And I, for some reason, stood up there when uh, he flew over me. That was my fault. Okay, so... Oh, it takes some more damage. Ooh, you dropped me a heart. Don't mind if I do. Oh, fire. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he does actually destroy these blocks every now and then. If I can remember, though. Okay, so when are you going to actually drop me a bomb that I can use? Oh, there we go. That is what I'm talking about. His giant pot is actually beginning to crack. Looks like I'm gonna be the winner here. Whoa, nuke! Ugh. Please don't drop the bomb on me. Wow, I can use this in this one too. That was some easy damage. Oh, I took some damage, but I did hit him. And apparently you can't jump on those enemies. How was I supposed to know that that was an enemy that I could jump on? And how was I supposed to know that the world is going to blow up? And there we defeated him! <laughs> F 
fat ugly bird. Now eat Donkey Kong powers. Oh yeah. Score one for the boys back home. Ha, let's see how many times we hit them. 21. We have claimed the ruins back in the name of Donkey Kong. Good job, DK. Diddy died along the way, but it won't be in vain because we get to move on to the next world. So the gong has been broken and we get to leave. Awesome. Which leaves the cave world. Probably the most diabolical out of all the levels. Or worlds, I should say. Anyways, see you next time for 4-1 Rickety Rails. Peace out, guys.